artificial intelligence, machine learning, Gen AI. I'm sure you've heard these terms, but do you know the difference between them and how they really operate? Let's start with the big picture, artificial intelligence or AI. AI is all about building or creating machines that normally require us humans to use our brains. Like learning, problem solving, and decision making. Exactly. Now, there are different ways to achieve that goal, and one popular approach is machine learning, or ML for short. ML is a subfield of AI and is all about using data to train machines to perform specific tasks. Yeah, we actually touched on this in course one. Yeah, we sure did. We talked about how ML systems learn from data to tackle specific challenges. But the question is, how do AI systems powered by ML actually accomplish these tasks? And the simple answer is math. The math itself is a bit beyond the scope of this learning path, but essentially we call the math the model. When you plug an input into the math or model, you receive an output, similar to any mathematical equation. And this magical model or mathematical equation is built from the data itself. Different data creates different models. And you'll see, this is why data plays such a huge role in this course. Now, we're simplifying a bit. The model is often a complex structure with many parameters and algorithms that process input data to generate outputs. More like a system of equations. Okay, that makes sense, but we digress. Joe. Where does Gen AI fit into all this? Well, Gen AI, short for generative AI, is a subset of machine learning that focuses on creating new content, like images, text, or music. So while other types of AI might analyze data to predict an outcome, like whether an email is spam or not, generative AI uses data to create something entirely new. Yes. Here's an analogy. Imagine you're teaching a child to paint. Traditional AI is like showing them a painting and saying, this is a good painting. These are characteristics of a good painting. The child then learns to judge paintings based on those rules. Generative AI is like showing a child many different paintings and providing them with a set of brushes and colors, then asking them to create their own unique painting based on what they've seen and learned. Oh, that's good. I like that. Okay. So Gen AI models learn the underlying patterns and structures of the data they're trained on, and then use what they learn to generate new, similar content. To learn these patterns and structures well enough, these models need so much data. How much data do they need? Is that from something? Yeah, it's from an old TV show. Ah. Let's recap. AI is the broad field. Machine learning is a method or approach within AI, and generative AI is an application of AI that creates new content. You got it. And while you don't need to know all the details about ML as a non-technical leader, it's important to understand these foundational concepts. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.